Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing three tips to help you position your business for overflow as a Christian entrepreneur. If you wanna hear more, then do stay tuned. I'm a business growth mentor strategist and I help Christian female coaches and service providers to get more clients online and start to build wealth in a way that honors God using biblical principles. This channel is all about business growth, kingdom wealth, and all around abundant living from a Christian perspective. And if you love what you see, I'd love you to like, comment, and share and subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I go live for a new video. Last but not least, I have in the comment section my 12 biblical laws of financial success, and that will help you to really expand your mindset and understand the biblical laws behind success as an entrepreneur. Okay, so you can grab that in the comment section below. So today, guys, we are talking about overflow as a Christian entrepreneur, right? And basically I have got this training um, from a something I did um, not long ago in my own group. And I thought I would just share this section of it to help somebody. Maybe God has spoken to you, uh, given you a word about increase, about enlargement, about really taking your business to another level. But what do you do with that word? You just sit on it? Do you just kind of like, okay, great, that's a word. Thank you, Lord. Um, but no, I wanna show you th three things that you could be doing if you have been heard from God that you are going to be, there's a there's an abundance of rain coming. Uh, we heard that word um, in my own group, in our own setting, and we are preparing for it. And so I want to share it with you and bless you. God know it will bless somebody. Okay, guys. So this is um, showing you exactly the training that I shared with my group, but this is it. How to position your business for overflow. Okay. So one thing you want to be doing is making sure that you are not just praying, but you are strategizing. Okay. Now prayer is awesome. Prayer is great. Prayer is needed and prayer is good. But what I've noticed in my own experience is that Christians, we end up praying and we don't follow it through with action. Okay. God wants us to pray, but he wants us to act as well and to prepare and to plan. And so I want to just encourage you that when you are um, hearing from God about something in your business, especially, you want to do the necessary things to prepare physically for it. OK, and what can you prepare? How can you do this? All right. First of all, if you expect the flood, you will build the ark. OK, and so most of us know the story of Noah and the ark and Noah built the ark in response to God telling him there was a flood coming, okay? And in the same way, if God has spoken a word of prophecy over your life, there's a flood, there's blessing coming. What do you do to prepare? Now, Noah, um, he, he was given the specific instructions on how to build the ark, but catch this. Yes, the ark was built to prepare for the flood of, 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 of rain coming and of water coming that's going to destroy the earth. But more importantly, the size of the ark, if you look at it, it was very, very big. And there were only about, I think, if I'm not mistaken, five um, um, adults in the ark, him, and, and him and his children. And so there was the main space of the ark was for the flood of animals into the ark. So there was a flood of animals that came into the ark. And so Noah had to position the ark in a way that would really be organized, that would have the, the elephants in one place, the, the um, cats in the other, the ducks in the other, the dogs in the other, the lions in the other. They had to be well created and well carved so that they didn't, so they could all stay in the ark together in one accord in unison, right, without any issues happening. So when you think about actually for preparation, the ark was prepared also for the animals to be there. So in your own business, even though there's going to be a flood of, flood of rain coming, what do you need to prepare for internally? How do you build your business? How do you structure your business in a way that will really, really um, be able to manage the flow and the flood that is coming into your business? How do you do that? OK, I want to share with you what you can think about. Number one. This is Robert Kiyosaki's BI triangle, okay, for business success. It's not mine, it's Robert Kiyosaki's, and he's a well-known business owner, uh, a tycoon, I would say, um, well-established, and, you know, one of the best of the best in business as we know it today. And so what is the best to use someone like that's model to just explain, you know, what to prepare for and how to prepare? I'm going to share with you, if you look at this triangle, you can see a few things here. The, the business in itself, within the purple part, is surrounded by a solid team, good leadership, and a mission, okay, really important. And in the triangle, we have the product or the service, legals need to be in point, systems need to be on point, communications as well, and cash flow, okay? So I want you to take away three things from this triangle. First, mission, 
then mindset and marketing. And I'm going to explain as I go along. First is mission. This business is is firmly set on a solid mission. What is your business mission? When your business is is on a solid mission, then when there's going to be ways and challenges that may come, what will happen is that you will be best fit to be able to, 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 to weather the storm in that place because when the storm does come, you can easily be 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 sure that you are going to continue to fulfill your mission because it's only a storm for a for a short amount of time not a long amount of time okay so i put here isaiah 61 because it's a really powerful scripture and the first verse of that says look the spirit of the lord god is upon you because the lord has anointed you to preach good tidings to the poor to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the open of the prison doors to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to come for all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. They may be called the trees of righteousness. There are so much in these verses that as a business owner, especially as a service provider, you exist to solve problems. So if you can connect to your business with Isaiah 61 and know that you are called to help, to help people to overcome challenges, overcome problems, overcome areas and issues of life, you stand firmly in that your business cannot fail because you know you've been given a God mission, a kingdom mission, a priestly mission, as it were, to help others in their place of need. I coach a lot of coaches. And so coaches, life coaches, business coaches, you know, mindset coaches, all of those types of coaches, they exist to help people go through and help them overcome really, really um, traumatic problems in some areas. Okay. So you, even as a service provider, you want to make sure you have a solid mission and you stand firmly on that. So when the storm comes, you can easily weather the storm. Okay. And when the flood comes, you won't get overwhelmed, but you will stand firm on the service and the excellence that you will need to provide as a business owner. Okay, that's the one mission. Number two is mindset. A strong mindset will hold your business together. When the flood comes, okay, when the flood comes, you have many um, challenges. Even if, it's a, even if it's a good flood, flood of, flood of rain of, of clients, you have to manage your business well. You have lots of customer service requests, lots of people asking you questions, lots of team management things maybe. And even if, you're, if you are the solopreneur, you are the only person in your business, you have to have a stronger mindset because you have to be the leader, you have to be the team and you have to bring everyone together in one accord to keep the business afloat okay and to make good strong decisions as a leader and the only way you can do that is if you always work on your mindset as a solopreneur you are the only one driving your business forward if you are sick the business is sick if you can't operate the business can't operate if you take a day off the business takes a day off okay and and that's a lot of you that are listening to my voice that are solopreneurs that are just one man bands for now you have to really take time to work on your mindset to build a strong mindset so you don't you don't um take a day off here or take a day off there when it's not time to do that you want to be strong in mind so you can lead lead your business well lead the team that is on its way well and even with the team you have to prepare for the team think about it so how do you if you're going to have a flood of clients come into your business okay what's the first who is the first person you're going to hire? Okay. What is the first thing you're going to do in your business? Who is the, what's the structures that need to be in place? You have to think like a team, think like a leader, think about all the areas. Um, Is it going to be the marketing? Is it going to be the fulfillment of the business? Is it going to be the accounts part of the business? What, what, you know, you have to really break down your business into different parts and think, okay, how do I structure it bit by bit so that it will really do well? Okay. So, and that requires a strong mindset to be able to lead yourself and lead the clients that you're going to be coming to your business when it comes okay so this is really important um in my biblical laws of success that will really really help you it's in the um, description box and you can take that and use it to help you grow a strong and solid mindset for when the growth comes Lastly, effective marketing will produce the most cash flow you cannot be a business owner and not do your marketing well okay so listen look inside the triangle 
the product or the service in this case is the smallest part of the triangle. The biggest before cash flow is communications. Communications is your marketing. Your marketing needs to be effective. When it's effective, it will bring in cash flow. A business needs cash flow. Okay. So you as an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that your marketing efforts are on point, as I would say, on point, right? So that you can bring in a flood of cash to make your business grow. Okay. So I want all I want to do is leave that with you. And also just add with that is that look, in the online space, this is my special specialty, in the online space, you need to look at things, these are the things you need to look at content system what is your content marketing like okay whether you use ads or whether you are um you are organically trying to attract clients you need to have a good content system okay next you need to have a good audience growth system you need an audience and so you need to effectively grow your audience online so you get more clients coming into your business Next is a lead generation system, okay? What are you doing to attract leads? You have to give a call to action to the next step of your business to get people to come into your business and so that you can then, you know, nurture them and then turn them into clients, okay? So lead generation is key. Next is your sales system. How are you closing clients? What is your process of selling look like, okay? Um, you need to have a sales system that is second to none that will swiftly turn followers in to buyers. We all know that followers do not pay the bills. You need to turn followers into buyers, okay? And last but not least, your tracking system. Every business needs to be, you have to track your marketing efforts. You cannot just be, you can't just throw mud at the wall, hope it sticks. You have to track your efforts. You have to track what you're doing effectively, okay? So if this, you need help in this area, if you look in the description box, you will see a lead bundle, the fast and free leads bundle is specifically for Facebook. Actually, if you have, it will help you if you don't have Facebook, but it's, um, if you are on Facebook, it will help you and show you how to get leads free and fast effectively on Facebook. Okay. So you can grab it there in the description box as well, if you haven't got it yet. Okay. So this is my little kind of tips that you want to kind of think about if you are expecting flood and as a business owner that is in Christ you should always be expecting the flood flood is here for you okay the rain is here and God wants to pour out a blessing for you and your business I hope this has helped you hey guys I hope this has helped you immensely it was a really um really short training that I wanted to just help somebody that maybe needed a bit of idea and understanding on how to how to manage their business in, in expectation for God's blessing and God's overflow. And I hope it's helped you immensely. If it has, please do share it. Do like, do comment, comment below. Let's have a conversation. I really, really will comment back if you do comment below as well. And make sure that you have subscribed and you hit the bell so you see my videos every week that'll be released as we go on. Thank you so much for watching and your time. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.